Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and today let's talk about the new, not so new feature in the Java world, the records. Uh, if you are using uh, the newest LTS or Java 17, you might know that is the record feature. However, they are usually related to DTO. The question is, is that true? Can I only use record to DTO? Today, let's go deep on that and find out. Okay, let's start. But first, let's define record. What is record? Uh, record is a feature where we're able to create a multiple class on the Java language, in the Java ecosystem. For example here, let's create a person that has three fields. A name, that won't change. The birthday, that won't change. And the city where this person was born, that won't change as well. So I will create person with three immutable fields. So the name of this person, this, this birthday, and finally, the city. I will uh, define this one as multiple, therefore, I will define the, fi the fields as final, and then create a constructor, as you can see. Then I will define the getters, also I'm able to change. It doesn't make sense to create setters. So uh, I will create the getters, but on this case, I won't use uh, the get prefix. So I will only use name. I will, uh, Define the equals hash code and finally my choose string. I usually do that, right? It's normal to make it. Then I will come here, I will create my person, Otavio person, where my name is Otavio. I you may know local date of 88. January and my city where I was born is Salvador, Brazil. So that is it. I created the immutable class person where I put my constructor, I put the getters, the equals, hash code, and so on. The question is, can I make it more uh, easier or reduce the number of informations or the bullet plate class. That is the idea of records. As you can see here, I have this huge amount of class and source code. I will reduce that using records. So I reduce this, I reduce that. Right now, I don't need records anymore. So, oh, I'm gonna use the records. So, let's just do a small fix here. Right now, I have my personal record with the same capabilities with only one line of code, right? So, I have my record here, and that is it. The usual, they usually think about, okay, once I'm able to change uh, the state of my information, uh, we have several samples exploring the records with DTO. For example, if I'm using microservers, I have my entity class, I have my DTO to move my information throughout my system as this JSON. This way, I don't need to uh, pay attention 
and I know explicitly each information is getting out my system. So BDO is a good solution to records. However, it is not the only possibility. So give me a I have my person rec uh, NT. I might have, for example, my person DTO and follow the idea, the same idea. Okay. And then I might have the, the same fields. I'm able to change uh, right now. You are able to create this by constructor. So it doesn't matter if you use Spring, Micronaut, uh, Microprofile, Jakarta EE, uh, they might have a solution to integrate that with JSON. But as I said, record is powerful. You're able to use more than DTO. For example, once we are talking about entities and we are talking about DDD, the domain driven design. Inside the DDD, we also have value objects where they are immutables. And guess what else is immutable? Yes, records. So uh, in this person, Let's put a salary. You are able to create the money. So I will come here and then define my money where I have my currency, currency, and also I have my big decimal value. So I'm able to come here and put my my money here. Uh, I used money as sample, but you're able to use any value object that you wish. Of course, uh, if you're gonna use more complexity inside money, please use the money API, the specification, the job awards, we do have your money and so on. But think for example, email. Email is also a good value object where I have my record here and then my my value here okay so right now I have my records I have my value where I'm not able to change if I change it's gonna be a new email right it's a multiple like the value object so able to use color or any doc document and so on. So beyond DTO, you're able to use value object with record. The second case is entity. Wait, are you, are you talking about create an immutable entity? Yes, exactly like that. Some, in some case, it does make sense to have an immutable uh, entity like a read only entity or a transactional entity. The main point here is sometimes it makes sense to use record as an entity. Uh, perhaps if you are using a pure JPA, you're not able to use it. Uh, but think, for example, um, books entity. So my book has, let's create a book here. My book has an immutable entity. So my book has an ID where I'm not able to change the title, the release, the year of release, and then my edition. Hey Otavio, but if I wish to create a new release, Remember, with records, you are able to explore beyond DTO. So we're able to create methods here. It is still a Java class. For example, uh, book new edition, where I do have my, uh, let me think, the year of release, the new release. So this way, 
I will. Okay, I need to have a new ID as well. Is string. Come on. So this way, I do have uh, return new book, a new ID. This time, same title, the different release, and of course, my new edition is edition plus one. So right now, what I do have, I do have my book. So let's create a test. Oops. Test. So I will create my book into here. So for void create a book. I will come here. I'm using JUnit Jupyter to explore the test. Let's use the effective Java book. Uh, I will create uh, the first one is the ID effective one effective Java uh, the year I guess it was 2021 the first version and the first version right now let's move to the second edition the next edition you be uh, the effective to uh, where the year of release I don't have uh, on my mind, but let's use 2010. So I able to explore this. And right now I have my second edition, second edition. And and so on. So in this case here, my second edition must be two instead of one. Okay, I will create, I will execute. Of course, it's a simple, silly example of code, of code. Okay, it's not work, let's remove. Let's try to build again and then execute the test again. So I create my effective Java book. I did the release, the second edition. So first step, if you wish, and then my second edition, just to show for you, because it creates my two string as well, right? So the first step, I have my first edition of Effective Java and then I released uh, the new Effective Java as a new edition, okay? On this case, my NT is immutable because it has a historic track and any change will create a new book like edition. Okay, I'm not able to change the book itself. I need to create a new edition about the same book and so on. And on this case, let's imagine the ID or the title uh, is my natural ID, okay? Okay, right now we had uh, the implementation of book, but come on, Otavio. How about the validations? Uh, another point, if I wish to have a different equals and hash code, how can I do that? On reality, you are able to use both. So let's create a compact const constructor to validate the book. On this case, it does not make sense to have a new ID, a new title, a new release, and of course, a negative edition. So let's make sure that uh, if the book has no validation, it will throw an exception. So let's use the compact records. So I have my book here and then 
I will define require not new id id is is oops id is required and let's use the power of copy paste so id and then the title the release and let's check if addition is negative or zero let's both throw an exception legal illegal argument exception so an um, addition cannot be negative okay let's go to the test and should not create uh, the first step i will do a search exceptions assert throw with no pointed exceptions where i will create the new 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 and two and then i will take the opposite with illegal argument exception where i put my id here my title effective java the release and then a negative value so let's execute and see what's going on it's worked and you are able to create or a builder partner a builder partner partner you understand me hopefully book builder where i do have my string id the title the release and finally the addition where by default it will be one so i will define my setter on this case i already have a template to make my life easier so record builder style where i define the id and so on and at the end i have my book uh, bu uh, build this way i will return the id the title the year oops not you the release and the addition right now i am able to come here uh, public static book builder builder and then right now i have my builder so if i'm here so public void should create from builder i will create my book from builder so book uh let's use the same one effective uh, book builder define an id uh, a title effective java release and then as you can see my book right now has a factor method a kind of if i wish i able to create a factor method to use right now i have a, a, a static uh, to access my builder if you wish you are able to overwrite uh, for example the equals and hash code for example imagine right now i only want to use the id so i will come here object hash code id 
are able to overwrite the equals to only look for ID if I wish. Uh, besides, I able to overwrite the title. Imagine right now that I want to, uh, my title has the year. So I have my title plus space year release. So you can do it if you wish. As you can see right now, I have an immutable entity or immutable class. Imagine, for example, as I said, uh, a class that doesn't need to change or uh, historic moments like a book. And every time that I need to change, I need to create a new one like book. Okay, I want to change my book. Okay, it's a new edition. It's not the same anymore. I put the validation here on my compact constructor because it doesn't make some sense to create a book if without ID, title release, and a negative edition. I have a method, as you can see here. So I have the new edition method to create a new book. Uh, I overwrited the title where I appended the release. I overwrited my equals, my hash code, if I wish. In this case, I use the ID. And if I wish, able to create a, uh, a static method. On this case, I created builder to use if I wish. Okay. The last one. Imagine right now that we want to use and explore the capabilities of the state design partner in your Java code. So let's imagine a order where I have a received, a delivered, and ordered state. So I will have a, an order with three states. When I buy, I order, so it's ordered. When uh, my, the marketplace sent to me, and then when I receive that order, and that is it. So I will create uh, this state. The first step is to create my interface. So I come here, I will create my order interface where it has my next step. And this one have my string products. Okay. Uh, I have my order with uh, this one will be my state. Let's start. I will start my state when I decide to order something. So order it where it has a list of products it will implement a order the next one you be uh, also have order the deliver the shipment process so you be delivered to someone uh, I will create my record here with the same list of products Oops. that will implement my order as you can see and finally the received so when I received a order So I create each one. You have also a, a list of products and we we'll implement uh, a order as well. Right now I have three implementation of this state. Uh, if I believe it is enough, I able to use and explore the seed, seed interface as well. So I 
come here, I define a suit interface, and then define who is able to implement the order. So as I said, I said, I define the order, deliver it, and received as the state. Now, I need to define the next. The next of the ordered is delivered. The next one here is received. And I don't have any states. So if you come here, it should throw an exception like throw new illegal, oops, illegal state exception. The order process is done. As I said, to keep it is immutable, I able to overwrite like products. And what I can do if I wish is change collections or modifiable lists to make sure the list will be really only. So it doesn't matter where it comes from. So I have my order, my three states, and I use the sealed interface where only these three class is able to implement. And let's create a static to start the process. So static methods, effect method, order, new order, where it will receive a list of products. I will check if the product is not new, product is required, and then return the first step. The next step is to create a test. Let's create a test here, create a test, create test where our view should uh, buy something okay so right now I have my list of products where I have bananas banana I have my order, order, and then I will start my, my process with a new order of products. Then let me check. On this case, I will use the asserts for J to make a silly, a simple, and simple test. Order is instance of ordered class. Then I will follow the flow to the next step where I will have a deliberate I will just use the power of call paste here. So delivery should be delivered. Then move to the final step where I have the received and let's use the power of copy paste again and finally you able to do the throw to illegal stage exception where Give the receipt, I will do the next step. In this case, this one will be invalid. So I run my test 
where I should buy bananas? The ego is the only only to explain what's going on. So unexpected throw here. Let's check the the uh, the received should be received illegal state. And let's see. Okay, I did a mistake about exception. Let's run again. Right now, both are equals. So I have my ordered state with an a seed interface where I able to only implement those records, order, delivery, and received. Each one has one state. And I finally fi finish my flow with until reception. I'm not able to do anything else um, on this case. That is it. Today we went to record to show that it's possible to use record beyond DTO. As you can see, I used record to explain the idea of state with order, for example, where I have three states. Of course, it's a simple example. We're able to go in even more deeper. Uh, value object on DDD, where value object and records are immutable by definition. Uh, this one here is some exception case like an immutable entity, uh, where you're able to use records as you can see able to put several validations on it i able to put some ideas details and that is it for today hopefully you enjoy and see you soon bye bye